What's up guys? Today I'm going to talk about some basic skate park skating. So in my opinion, before you start skating at the skate park, you should know how to skate. You should know how to ride around on your skateboard and do some basic stuff, maybe even an ollie. I just, you want to be good enough that you're not going to get in people's way. So practice in your driveway, doing ollies and rolling around, practice rolling up and down your street. If you have a little hill, practice bombing a small hill on your skateboard so that you're ready to skate the skate park because if you don't know what you're doing, you might get hurt. So today I want to talk about your first five tricks at the skate park. So if your skate park is like this and you got a nice mellow quarter pipe to start out with, this is a good quarter pipe to learn to drop in on, but there are some even better options. You should start out trying to drop in on that bank ramp over there, and then that kicker that's kind of like a quarter pipe way out there, and then you're going to work your way up to an actual ramp. Because on a ramp like this, when people are learning to drop in, they usually lean too far back and fall backwards more than anything. So to do this, you want to be comfortable dropping in on little banks and stuff like that so you know the motion but your back foot is on the tail your front foot is over the front bolts and then you are going to get kind of low put all your weight on your front foot and just really throw yourself down push push those front wheels down as hard as you can uh, try not to lean too far back because there, it's you're tempted to lean too far back and like do a manual down The reason this park is so good for learning this is you've got this bank ramp, it's just totally mellow. Uh, you gotta learn it on something like this first. It's not as intimidating. And then this thing right here, this thing is perfect. See how it's got transition? It's like a quarter pipe, but it's also really tiny. So yeah, learn to drop in on this after you've gotten your drop-ins on the the bank ramp this might be even, even be easier and then after you're comfortable with that then you're going to work your way up to dropping in on the quarter pipe so the next thing you'll probably notice at most skate parks uh, is ledges this skate park has a few looks like the easiest one is this picnic table over here so the next thing you're going to learn after dropping in, the next easiest skate park trick is going to be a 50-50. So before you learn to grind this, you're going to want to practice doing it just while stationary. So you're going to set your board up next to the ledge and ollie on it and ollie off. Um, just, just So to do the 50-50, you're standing next to the ledge and you're kind of leaning your weight up over the ledge. So when you're trying to do this trick stationary, it's really important to shift your weight forward because you don't have the momentum of rolling. After you've gotten that down, you want to come at the ledge at a slight angle. You don't have to push the board forward as much with this because you've got that momentum because you're coming at a slight angle and it's throwing you up onto the ledge. So you want your heel side wheel locked up against the ledge on both trucks. And as you come to the end, you're just going to kind of do a little manual, just kind of lift your front truck up and fall off. You can even slap your tail, go slow enough to even slap your tail. Or if you're not going fast enough to come off the end of the ledge, all you have to do is turn your front shoulder the way you want to go and just kind of ollie off or fall off the ledge. Okay, so here's an easy trick you might not have thought about. Most skate parks, not every skate park, but a lot of them have pyramids like this. So this pyramid is really built for bikes. But see how big the top of this deck is? This thing is huge. With that little quarter pipe over there, that's basically just as tall as this bank, you're not going to be able to ollie this whole thing. You're not going to be able to ollie this or kick flip it over the entire flat. So what a lot of people will do at skate parks like this, a basic beginner trick is going to be just manualing the top. I've seen this a million times at skate parks. Just a manual across the flat part. You could even do a nose manual or stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, it works really good on big 
pyramids like this. This is like a bike ramp right here. It's like a early 2000s BMX skate park. A good way to practice that manual, see how the skate park is divided into blocks? Try manualing one of these concrete sections and then try manualing two of them and just work your way up. So manuals are about being really loose, just kind of bending your front knee, bending your back knee a little bit too, but bending the front knee a little bit more. You've got your back foot right on the tail, your front foot either on the front bolts or a little behind them. You might kind of turn your ankle just a little bit and it's just about practice. You know, you, it takes a little bit of time. It's something that just doesn't come naturally, but the more you do it, the better you get. And once you can do it over two or three of these concrete blocks, you can probably do it over that ramp. Another basic trick, a lot of skate parks have bank ramps or quarter pipes. And a lot of them have edges like this because they're prefab parks. These ramps are built somewhere else instead of like building a concrete skate park from scratch. So one thing you can do on these is you can do an ollie or a 180 off. So get really comfortable doing 180s on flat ground. And then this could even be a little bit easier because it gives you an extra push and it gives you a little extra time to do it. So all you're doing is turning your front shoulders, popping an ollie, landing, and rolling away. So after the ledges, the next thing you might notice a skate park will have is a flat bar. So one of the next tricks, one of the easiest tricks at the skate park is going to be just a board slide on the end of the rail. So you're just going to come up at a slight angle, ollie, do half a 180, turn your front shoulder, and just tap the end of the rail. You don't have to board slide the whole thing at first. Just learn to just kiss the rail and fall off. So it's all in turning your shoulders one way, then turning them the other way. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder, hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.